Alright. Okay, so I have my power supply. And I have a power steering pump. It is indeed off of Detroit. Gear driven, but I can make a coupler for that. Has a tank already on it. And uh now it's just a matter of mating the two together. And it should be good to go. But uh, I think what I want to do is get a Boston coupling to go on here. And where the heck did I sit my other piece? Oh, jeez. This is this is the problem when you're not very organized. And I am not very organized. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I did something with it. Something stupid. Hmm. Not sure where the heck I put that thing. Anyhow, uh, I got a nice little spline piece that belongs on that pump. I can put the Boston coupling, one end of the Boston coupling on the engine. And once I find that spline piece, I can weld that to the other end of the Boston coupling and make sort of a teeny little bell housing to, to bolt up to the face of the engine here and the other end will go right on these two bolt holes and and everything ought to be nice and happy I could find that damn spline piece and I don't I don't even have the Boston coupling yet uh, it proves to be a pain in the ass. oh here's this spline piece right there yeah this thing goes on to the end of the pump somehow there we go just like that and the Boston coupler or Lovejoy I'm not sure I've heard them called both so but anyhow that'll go on there and uh, if we just pretend for a moment that this is our Boston coupler Lovejoy you know this will that would get welded on like that and of course it would slide onto the crankshaft and that spline piece would be right there and the pump would slide into that sp spline piece think about a Boston coupler instead of this rigid connection where you've got to be down to the gnat's ass a Boston coupler will give you a little bit of flexibility Give you just a little bit of forgiveness if you're not quite right on. And I'd hate to get this thing together only to have it burn itself out a month later because I wasn't quite lined up. And uh, I've worked with those couplers before and, and they're pretty nice. I've actually seen them on a, a few smaller log splitters so I believe I can find one that's up to the job. If not, uh, I can make something. <laughs> but I'd rather that I could just buy it because I'm, I'm making enough right now from scratch. So that's it for now. Just a real quick one show you where I'm at on this thing.